Hello, my name is Colleen Amundsen. Shannon Bachman and I will be discussing concepts related to body water compartments and movement. For starters, let's talk about the different compartments. The body is on average 60% water. There are three main compartments from which the water continuously flows. First, you have your intracellular fluid compartment, or ICF. This is a fluid that is inside the cells of the body. This accounts for 66% of total body water, not to be confused with total body weight. Next, you have the extracellular fluid compartment, which makes up 34% of total body water, or ECF. This is broken down into two separate compartments. First, you have your interstitial fluid compartment. This makes up the fluid around the cells that is not in the bloodstream. This is 75% of the extracellular fluid volume. And finally, there is plasma or intravascular fluid. This is comprised of the fluid portion of your blood or anything that is within the vasculature of the body. This makes up 25% of the extracellular fluid volume. There's also a small portion here that Colleen will mention later, transcellular fluid, and that's approximately 1%, but it's negligible to discuss right now. So to give you a little visual of where these compartments are and why you should care about them, imagine these cells here, these circles, as one of the, some of the billions of cells that you have in your body. They are contain, they contain your intracellular fluid, which is the 66%. And that would be fluid, you know, such as water that's needed to help the cells thrive. You also have your intracellular components that are not to be confused with the water. Then around each cell, you have your extracellular fluid. Anything that's not inside the cell is your extracellular fluid. And around the cell is your interstitial fluid. And that's represented here in purple. The extracellular fluid is important for uh, nutrient and ion exchange from outside the cell to inside the cell. That is your, that is 75% of your 34% of your extracellular fluid. And we'll show you how to do these calculations in a minute. The last portion that I want you to be concerned with is your plasma. And that is the non-cellular portion of your blood inside your blood vessels. And that's represented here in red. Nutrients and oxygen from inside the plasma and inside the red blood cells are need this extracellular interstitial fluid here to allow communication to happen within the cell. So it goes from your blood to your interstitial fluid and to your cell and back and forth. And fluid is constantly being exchanged. So in order to demonstrate your knowledge of the different compartments and their percentages, you might at some point in your academic career be asked to calculate the different compartments within the body based on the patient's weight. So, for example, we'll take a very easy, um, a very easy example, and we'll use a 70 kilo patient. 70 kilo patient has approximately 42 liters or 4,200 mLs of water in their body at any given time. This calculation is called the total body fluid calculation, and can be shown here as 70 kilos times 0.6 or 60 percent, which equals 42 liters. To figure out the volume in the intracellular space, you would take the total body water, which is 42 liters, and times that by 66%, or 0.66. This is approximately 28 liters. To figure out the extracellular fluid volume, which at this point includes both the interstitial fluid and the intervascular plasma compartment, would be 42 liters times 0.34 or 34%, which would equal 14 liters. And breaking that down further, if you wanted to calculate the interstitial fluid volume, you must first start with the extracellular fluid calculation from the previous example, or 14 liters, and times that by 75%, or 0.75. This will give you 10 liters. And lastly, in order to figure out the intravascular or plasma fluid volume, you must again start with the extracellular fluid volume, or 14 liters that we calculated earlier, and times this by 25%, or 0.25, giving you 3.5 liters. 
And as Shannon mentioned earlier, there is a very small extracellular compartment called the transcellular fluid space, which is mostly lubricants and cushioning fluid within the body. This is made up of CSF, vitreous fluid within the eye, synovial fluid, peritoneal fluid, pericardial fluid, and pleural fluid. This is approximately 1%. This fluid group, group excuse me, becomes important in times of pathology, such as a pericardial effusion, hydrocephalus, ascites, etc. 